Hello friends, now we'll start the new chapter. Linear equations in one variable. Now in this video, we will see how to solve the linear equation in one variable. And I will explain exercise 2.1. Okay, now let us start introduction. Okay. In earlier classes, you have come across several algebraic expressions and equations. This is very important. Now, what do you mean by the expressions and the equations? Some examples of expressions we have so far worked with are 5x is expression, 2x minus 3 is expression, 3x plus y is expression, 2xy plus y u is expression, xyz plus x plus y plus z, x square plus 1, y plus y square. These are the expressions. Now we'll see the equations, some examples of the equation. 5x is equals to 25, 2x minus 3 is equals to 9, 2y plus 5 by 2 is equals to 37 upon 2, 6z plus 10 is equals to minus 2. You would remember that the equations use the equality sign. Here is the equality sign. It is missing in expressions. If we see this here. The equality sign is not there. Only the algebraic expression is there. Okay. In equations, we have equality sign. Of these given expressions, many have more than one variable. X is called the variable. Y is called the variable. Z is called the variable. This expression have the one variable 5x, 2x minus 3 have one variable, 3x plus y have the two variables, which are the variables x and y are the variable and 3 is a coefficient of x. Next 2xy plus 5, this is also the expressions, it has a two variables xyz plus x plus y plus z, this is expressions and having the variables x, y, z. Again, x square plus 1, okay, y square, y plus y square, this is also the expression. These are the expressions having more than one variable, okay. Now, for example, here, this is the expression 2xy plus 5 has the two variable. However, restrict two expressions with only one variable when we form equations. Now, if we restrict, that is, a, we require only single variable, okay. Moreover, the expressions we use to form equations are the linear. If there is a one variable, then it is a linear, okay. This means that the highest power of variable appearing in the expression is 1, okay. And these are the linear expressions. First of all, these are the linear expressions. That is, it has single variable. In this expression, we have single variable x. Its highest power is 1. 2x plus 1. This is the linear expression. Highest power of x is 1. And it has a single variable. 3y minus 7. This is also linear expression. Highest power of y is 1. And it has a single variable. 12 minus 5z, the highest power of z is 1 and this expression has a single variable. 5 by 4 in bracket x minus 4 plus 10, this is also linear expression. The highest power of x is 1 and this expression has a single variable. Okay, now next, the following given are not linear expressions x square plus 1 this is not the linear expression because the highest power of x is 2 y plus y square also this is not the linear expression though it has a single variable but the highest power is not 1 okay next 1 plus z plus z square plus z cube these are not the linear expression though it has a single variable since the highest power of variable is greater than 2 Okay, here we will deal with the equations with linear expression in one variable only. Okay, linear expression and it must have the single variable. 
such equations okay such equations are known as linear equations in one variable the simple equations which you studied in the earlier classes were all of these type let us briefly revise what we know an algebraic expression sorry algebraic equation is an equality involving the variable in an algebraic equation what is that there is a equality involving the variable it must has the equality sign it must have the variable having the index one it has an equality sign the expression on the left of the equality sign it is called the left hand side the expression on the right are right of the equality sign is the right hand side that is the rhs now see this the equation linear equation in single variable that is a 2x minus 3 is equals to 7 here the x is a variable this is the equality sign and this total is a called the equation now what is the lhs of this equation 2x minus 3 is a lhs means what left hand side 7 is rhs means right hand side in an equation the values of expression on the lhs and the rhs are equal this happens to be true only for the certain values of the variable these values are the solution of the equation the solution of the equation okay now see this here x is equals to 5 is the solution of the equation 2x minus 3 is equals to 7 for x is equals to 5 if we substitute here x is replaced by 5 then lhs that is the lhs is equals to 2 into 5 minus 3 that is a 10 minus 3 which is 7 and this is nothing but the rhs because in this equation the rhs have 7 and if we simplify this you will get the 7 and therefore lhs is equals to rhs on the other hand if we substitute x is equals to 7 10 in this expression is not a solution of the equation for x is equals to 10 that is a 2 into 10 minus 3 20 minus 3 that is a 17 and this is not equal to the rhs and therefore x is equals to 10 is not the solution of this equation and therefore we say that the x is equals to 5 is a solution of this equation okay these uh, values are the solutions of these equations means what x is equals to 5 then how to find the solution of an equation we assume that the two sides of the equations are the always balanced we perform the same mathematical operations that is a if you want to add phi on both sides then we will add phi on both sides subtract something on both sides then we perform the same operation if you want to divide on both sides then we divide the same number on the both sides so that the balance is uh, not disturbed a few such steps are given in the given the solution see this the balance if you want to keep this balance equal then on both sides we will add and subtract the same weight okay now the solving the equation which have linear expressions on one side and number on the other side this is the linear expression on the left hand side there is a variable right hand side the number okay now i want we will solve this linear equation now first is add 3 to the both sides 2x minus 3 add 3 to the both sides now this plus 3 and minus 3 get cancelled their algebraic sum is 0 and therefore we have 2x to the left hand side 7 plus 3 is a 10 we want to find out the value of x and therefore to the next step we will divide on the both side by 2 here we require only the x therefore we will divide by 2 this 2 to get cancel here 
and here we'll divide it and you will get here 5 okay therefore x is equals to 5 is the solution of the equation 2x minus 3 is equals to 7 now the next solve 2y plus 9 is equals to 4 now the first step is a transpose 9 to the RHS when we transpose the 9 has a plus sign it will become minus here and if it is minus then it will become plus here therefore 2y is equals to 4 minus 9 4 minus 9 then you will get here minus 5 we want to find out the value of y therefore dividing both sides by 2 that is a 2y upon 2 that is here I will write here 2y upon 2 is equals to minus 5 upon 2 this 2 2 get cancelled and you will get y is equals to minus 5 upon 2 this is the solution now the next solve x by 3 plus 5 by 2 is equals to minus 3 by 2 now first of all transpose this 5 by 2 to the RHS after transposing that is this 5 by 2 has a plus sign it will become here a minus sign then simplify this that is here minus what is here minus 3 by 2 minus 5 by 2 both of them have the same base here is a minus 3 and minus 5 that becomes minus 8 upon 2 and if you simplify it then here you will get that is equals to minus 4 okay this is the minus 4 next this transpose this 3 now here it is a divided it will become here multiplied and therefore you will get here x is equals to minus 4 into 3 that is x is equals to minus 12 and this is the solution if we substitute x is equals to 12 in this expression then consider here LHS x is replaced by 12 12 upon 3 plus 5 by 2 12 upon 3 that is a minus 4 and again if we simplify this 2 into minus 4 it's a minus 8 plus 5 upon 2 again if we simplify minus 8 plus 3 that is a minus 3 upon 2 and this is the nothing but the RHS in this way we can change check the given expression when we have the solution okay now the next example example number 4 solve 15 by 4 minus 7x is equals to 9 now we have this expression again now transpose this 15 by 4 to the RHS it has a plus side it will become minus then again simplify this and how to simplify this see this here 9 minus 15 by 4 I want to simplify this multiply this 9 to this 4 then this is a 9 into 4 minus 15 upon 4 then what will happen 9 into 4 you will get here 36 minus 15 upon 4 and here you will get 21 upon 4 see this here 21 upon 4 we simplify it now again we want to find out the value of x therefore divide on the both sides by okay here by the divide on both sides by minus 7 and then here you will get that is a if you divide on both sides by minus 7 upon minus 7 and here 21 by 4 and here 1 upon minus 7 okay this minus and minus that division will become plus okay and this 21 can be written as 3 into 7 upon 4 into 7 again this 7 and 7 that will get cancelled cancel here and here you will get x is equals to minus 3 by 4 and this is the solution okay you can check here also here that is a 15 by 4 minus 7x is equals to 9 this is the LHS substitute x is equals to minus 3 by 4 and again if we simplify it minus 7 into minus 3 that is a 21 15 by 4 plus 21 by 4 the total is 36 by 4 
and that's equals to 9 which is the RHS as the required. Now we'll start the exercise 2.1. Solve the following equations. x minus 2 is equals to 7. Now these add the 2 on both sides. Then x minus 2 plus 2 and here plus 2. Plus 2 and minus 2 here. Here addition that is a 0. And 2 plus that is 7 plus 2 is a 9. Therefore x is equals to 9 is the solution of this equation. Next y plus 3 is equals to 10. We have the expression y plus 3 is equals to 10. That is a subtract 3 on both sides. Here we are subtracting 3 on both sides. Here again plus 3 and minus 3 get cancelled. 10 minus 3 that is a 7. And therefore y is equals to 7 is the solution of this equation. Next 6 is equals to z plus 2. 6 is equals to z plus 2. And here subtract 2 on both sides so that x the 6 minus 2 is equals to z plus 2 minus 2 here plus 2 and minus 2 get algebraic the addition is a 0 therefore 6 minus 2 that is a 4 and this is a z therefore z is equals to 4 is the solution of this given equation next 3 by 7 plus x is equals to 17 by 7 we have this expression okay now subtracting on both sides minus 3 by 7 because on the left hand side we are required only the x and therefore we are subtracting on both sides 3 by 7 this plus 3 by 7 minus 3 by 7 get cancelled and here both of them have the same base therefore it is a 17 minus 3 upon 7 that is a x is equals to 14 upon 7 and if you simplify it 7 1 7 2 is a 14 therefore x is equals to 2 here that's a solution now the next is very simple 6x is equals to 12 and we have the equation we will require to solve this equation we require only the single variable here have the coefficient 1 therefore on the both sides we will divide by 6 therefore here 6x here we require the 6x okay here yeah. 6x six upon 6 this 6 6 will get cancelled and we will we'll simplify this 6 1s are 6 2s are 12 and therefore x is equal to 2 is the solution of this equation now the next t by 5 is equal to 10 then multiplied on both sides by 5 so that to the left hand side we will get t only okay Therefore, t by 5 into 5 is equals to 10 into 5. This 5, 5 will get cancelled. 10 into 5, that is a 50. Therefore, t is equals to 50 is the solution of this given equation. Now, the next 2x upon 3 is equals to 18. Now, here to simplify this, first step is multiplied on both sides by 3. Okay. Now, this 3, 3 will get cancelled. 18 into 3. Here to the right hand side again divide on both sides by 2 that is a 2x upon 2 is equals to 18 into 3 upon 2 this 2 2 will get cancelled you will get x is equals to and again here simplification 2 1 sir. and here 9 9 into 3 that is a 27 therefore x is equals to 27 is the solution of this given expression and next is a sample number 8 1.6 is equals to y upon 1.5 again to simplify this multiplied on both sides by 1.5 that is 1.6 into 1.5 is equals to y upon 1.5 into 1.5 okay this 1.5 1.5 get cancelled and the multiplication of 1.6 into 1.5 you will get 2.40 that is the 2. y is equals to 2.40 or 2.4 is the solution of this given equation now the next 7x minus 9 is equals to 16 now we have this first of all expression add 9 on both sides then 7x minus 9 plus 9 is equals to 16 plus 9 plus 9 and minus 9 get cancelled their algebraic addition is 0 and that's why to the left hand side we have 7x 16 plus 9 25 
divide on both side by 7 this 7 and 7 get cancelled you will get x is equals to 25 upon 7 and this is the solution now the next is 14 y minus 8 is equals to 13 okay we have this expression add 8 on both sides then therefore you will get 14 y minus 8 plus 8 is equals to 13 plus 8 plus 8 and minus 8 get cancelled 13 plus 8 which is a 21 divided on both sides is y 14 14 y upon 14 21 upon 14 is 14 and 14 get cancelled and if you simplify it then here you will get 7 2s are 14 and 7 3s are 21 and therefore y is equals to 3 by 2 is the solution of this given equation okay now the next is 17 plus 6 p is equals to 9 now here again subtract 17 from the both sides plus 17 minus 17 get cancelled 9 minus 17 then you will get minus 8 divide on both sides by 6 here 6 6 will get cancelled and again simplify minus 8 by 6 if you simplify here that is a here you will get 3 and 2 4 is a 8 okay therefore p is equals to minus 4 by 3 is the solution of this given equation next is x by 3 plus 1 is equals to 7 by 15 okay this is the expression first of all subtract 1 from the both sides here plus 1 and minus 1 get cancelled and here simplify that is a 15 into 1 that is a 15 7 minus 15 upon 15 x by 3 is equals to 7 minus 15 upon 15 7 minus 15 that is nothing but the minus 8 upon 15 okay x by 3 is equals to minus 8 upon 15 again multiplied on both sides by 3 this again p3 will get cancelled again simplification here 3 1s are and 3 5s are 15 and here you will get x is equals to minus 8 by 5 here this is the solution of this given equation okay and in this way we have completed the exercise 2.1 and now we will see in the next video till then goodbye